Claire Foy takes over the dragon tattoo saga, this time in The Girl in the Spider's Web. Are you not Lisbeth Salata, the writer of Rome? The girl who hurts men. I'm a fan too, so I hope that I am the harshest critic of, of myself and what I've done in this movie. Um, you know, I loved the books, I always have done. Um, and I loved the movie, so um, I was very protective of her as a character and I felt like... Um, I knew that sort of she was in safe hands in my hands because I knew I would be harder on myself than anyone else would ever possibly be. So I sort of criticised myself enough already, to be honest. So <laughs> it can't get much worse from here on out. Um, but also, you know, it's, it's an honour to be able to bring her to life, to be able to be entrusted with something that people love so much. I could never figure it out. Fight. She's full of fight. She would fight to the absolute end. Uh, you know, she'd be clawing someone's eyes out before she was, you know, um, willing to give up. Uh, she'll never surrender. Um, and I think that's extraordinary. I think that, you know, is the only reason she's been able to live for as long as she has, to be perfectly honest with you, with the amount that she's endured. Um, uh, and to me, so much of it was about, I just, you know, felt like I really had to take care of someone who I felt was very, very vulnerable. I think she always has been vulnerable ever since she was very young. And so I felt like I just had to really take care of this character. I'll drop your own shadow. I think she's at the centre of the drama, which she hasn't been before, really. Um, she's quite often been the muse or kind of the um, the uh, object of fashion, fascination, I suppose, of people. Um, but in this one, she's there, kind of front and centre, and there to be kind of uh, examined, I suppose, by the audience. Um, which is really interesting because, you know, you haven't seen that before, but also it kind of it investigates what are the kind of deepest wounds in her life, I suppose, and I think her sister is definitely one of those, and her experiences with her sister are definitely things that she has uh, tried to forget and cover up or get over. He's, a, he's sort of um, able to be a kind of cinema goer and a, a, a director at the same time. He has such an inherent love for movies and for the language of movie making. You know, he will try things in scenes because he just loves the the artifice of film that you can make something look real that's not. Um, and uh, he's so excited by it. And him and Pedro, his DOP, just have an amazing relationship. So it's quite a exciting and kind of explorative set to be on because he kind of encourages people to be amazed by the, the filmmaking process, like he is. Why is it this? But why is it spiders don't get stuck in their own webs? Mike Wilbert, NBC News.